Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 teen trends schools had to ban. So we all know that schools have a habit of banning really harmless and bizarre things and while there are a few things that are expected to be banned, some things can cause an uproar when banned. So guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply to all of you. So, coming in at number 10, we have hoverboards. So, we all know that in 2015, segways or hoverboards went insane, and people all over the world started to buy them. But if you're old enough, you'd probably have a car, which is the reason why the people who bought these were mainly school kids. And it wasn't long before kids were riding these in hallways, class, and on the playground. And kids were getting knocked over by hoverboards in hallways, and falling off them too. But that's not actually the main reason that these things were banned. The main reason is actually because they were exploding and catching fire, because of the type of battery that hoverboards boards use, and this sometimes caused damage to schools, and because of that and the safety risk, hundreds of schools all over the world banned hoverboards. But next up we have Black Lives Matter. So we all know the Black Lives Matter movement came about after many young black men were killed by police in the USA. And this one is more serious than some of the other ones in this list. But even so, some schools still decided to ban this. In 2016, one student called Maria Harvard, who was only 15 years old and went to a high school in Arizona, wore a Black Lives Matter t-shirt to support the cause. But as soon as she walked into class, her teacher took her to the principal's office and then the principal told her to go and change her shirt. Because apparently it was distracting other students. And I'm not saying that people should wear political clothing to school because it could cause arguments, but surely a message saying that black people's lives matter shouldn't cause any arguments in this day and age. Well, apparently for this school, it did. But next up, we have water bottle flipping. So another huge and to some teachers annoying craze is bottle flipping. The chances are, if you go to school, you'll have seen somebody bottle flipping there before. But according to schools, there's various problems with kids doing this in class. Some kids were doing it onto roofs and getting bottles stuck there. And some kids tried doing it onto window ledges and ended up breaking windows. And lots of kids did it at their desks, which as you can imagine, annoyed the teachers. And schools noticed an increase in litter as kids would abandon the half-filled water bottles on the floor after their water bottle flipping session was over. So to stop these issues, schools banned water bottle flipping despite annoying a lot of kids. But next up we have twerking. So one of the most popular dance moves over the last few years has to be twerking. Almost everyone has done it from Miley Cyrus to girls in school. And because the nature of the dance move is to shake your behind, a lot of schools have taken issue with kids doing it and have outright banned it, saying that the dance is too sexual. One more extreme case of this took place at a California high school in 2014, where 34 students were suspended after a video of them twerking went viral while they were wearing school hoodies and sweatpants. The students were suspended for seven days and the video was taken down. But many people across the internet were very upset with the school's reaction. But what do you think? Should twerking be allowed in schools or is it just a bit too sexy? But next up we have selfies. While it may have been cool to take a photo of something you saw or something you did 20 years ago, today the most popular subject for photographs is the photographer themselves. The average millennial will take 26,000 selfies in their lifetime and girls aged 16 to 25 spend 2 hours per week taking selfies. And on average 93 million selfies are taken worldwide every single day. And because of these shocking statistics it's no surprise that a lot of these selfies get taken in school. But as you can imagine some schools don't like this. And one school in India even banned students from taking selfies, the students protested and then the school harshened the punishment, banning hair combing too. Wow, this school doesn't mess about. But next up we have Ugg boots. So we all know the popular brown furry footwear Ugg boots, but one middle school in Pennsylvania ended up banning them. And while most of you probably thought this was to do with the Ugg boots themselves, like how they look, well no. Surprisingly, the reason they were banned was not fashion related. The actual reason is because students were hiding their cell phones in them and then would use them in class. And that's because the rim of the boots are very wide, which makes it easy to hide and even use cell phones inside them. I mean how boring must that school be? The students are literally hiding phones in their shoes to do something else. But anyway, as you can imagine, students and parents alike were really mad about this, but the school didn't care and has kept up the rule even today. And they banned them in 2012, so it looks like this school means business. But next up we have social media. What would your life be like without social media? Words that come to my mind are terrible, depressing and terrible again. I don't have a wide vocabulary, okay? But anyway, one school in Texas banned their students from using social media in 
and out of school. And it was mainly because of the fights breaking out in school, because of things that happened on social media out of school. And as you probably guessed, parents and students were very angry. The parents were angry because the school was basically parenting their kids for them. And the students were angry because, well, no social media. And what makes this even weirder is that this is a high school that specializes in technology. But because of all of the outrage and because of how impossible it is to control what kids do out of school, this rule didn't exactly work outside of school. But social media is still banned inside of the prison. Oh, I mean school. But next up, we have dancing. So to some people, dancing is just a little bit of fun. And to others, it's an art or profession. But apparently, some schools take it very seriously. In 2015, a New York high school banned dancing because of inappropriate dance moves. The school blamed MTV and VH1 for the dancing on school grounds. And the school even claimed that dancing simulated sex. Hmm, I wonder if they've actually had sex before. Anyway, another school in India also banned dancing because of a viral video of a dance where girls bend over and then other girls run over their backs. And the school banned this because of safety reasons. Wow, at this rate, schools are going to be running out of things to ban. But next up, we have Pokemon Go. So even though right now not too many people play Pokemon Go, in the summer of 2016, it was all any kid was playing. And of course, one place where all kids would play Pokemon Go is on the school play yard. Many schools banned it, but one school that caught the media's attention was Wellington School, which is a really fancy and expensive school where parents have to pay over $40,000 per year just for their kids to get in. And this isn't even a university, it's just a high school. Anyway, they banned it and they also put signs all over the campus saying no access to Pokemon Go. Some schools in America even went as far as to block the Pokemon Go app from receiving internet on the school's Wi-Fi so that kids wouldn't be able to play it. But I doubt they'll have to worry about it now, seeing as nobody plays it. But next up, we have loom bands. So loom bands are bracelets made from small, colorful, elastic bands. Well, they could never get banned from a school, right? Wrong. Some schools banned loom bands because kids were apparently making them in class while the teacher wasn't looking and this was distracting the students. And some of the kids who had loom bands were reportedly mocking kids who didn't have them, saying they were so poor they couldn't even afford to buy rubber bands. Damn, that is kind of harsh. But anyway, I still don't think schools should have banned these or most of the other things on this list. But that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the craziest trend schools banned. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.